that is good and we are rolling oh man it's been quite some time but welcome back to a brand new episode of ask firebase my name is david east i haven't done one of these things in forever and and that that framing is just no good that is just not what i want Puff State, Hollywood. Lewis asks, hashtag as Firebase. It's been a while since I've done that. How long until Firebase Cloud Functions support custom domains? Well, Lewis, at Google I.O., we launched Firebase Hosting and Firebase Cloud Functions integrated together. So now you can create your cloud function, and then you can write a redirect, and then it has its own awesome custom domain or a Firebase app domain, really, you know, kind of whatever you want. So let's actually dive into the laptop and let's see how it looks. So right here, I just have this basic project and it has two folders. I have a functions folder and a public folder. Public folder is the website, functions folder is my cloud functions. So if I go into functions index.js, I can require from Firebase-functions, and then I'm gonna go and create my actual cloud function. So I'm gonna say exports, dot app, because that's the name of my function. And I'll set that to functions.htps.onRequest. dot on request. And the on request method takes a callback that provides you a request and a response, which is pretty much all you need to make a website. So now I can take this response and I can just send back some HTML. And now with that saved, I'm going to go to my firebase.json. So here in firebase.json, you can see that we just have our hosting set up to our public folder. Well, I can go and specify a rewrite. And so a rewrite takes an array of rewrites. And so we'll provide the first object. So the first object, we'll say that the source of our rewrite is the slash hello location. And then whenever someone hits the slash hello location, we're now going to go to the app function that we just created. So now in the command line, all I have to do is write Firebase deploy. And then once that gets out there, we'll go to our website slash hello. And then right there, that HTML that we sent back, it's right there available in the browser. So that's just a little bit of what you can do with Cloud Functions and Firebase Hosting. And one of the amazing features of this is actually that you get to set the cache control. So with traditional dynamic hosting, you send a request, sends you back a response, and then you know every request, response, request, response. But with Firebase hosting and Cloud Functions, you actually get to cache that response on the CDN level. So that means the user, where they locally send that request from, that response goes back to their local CDN edge. So all the other users in that area for that set period of time can get a low latency response, which is just one of the amazing reasons why you use Cloud Functions and Firebase hosting. Great question, Lewis. Next qu There's supposed to be a camera there. It's actually kind of dark in here, so I'm going to see if I find some lights. Uh, ah. Next question. I feel like there's a disturbance in the force. Oh my god, the Firebase picture. Next question. Mike says, for mobile, is there any way to pre-populate the cache so the initial sync with the server is minimal? So Mike, I'm assuming that you're talking about the Firebase database client. And no, there isn't actually a way you can take some JSON and pre-warm the cache so you can render items faster. But what you can do is, is you can render your HTML on the server. And a little trick I like to do is, is take each component and give it an ID that is the associated ID to the database. So if you have a list of items, each list item will have its database ID. And so now what you can do is you can find the last item and then run a Firebase database query and just keep appending those items on to the bottom. So that way the user gets a fast first render of their HTML and CSS content. And then dynamically, you can just add all of that real time stuff on at the end. Great question, Mike. Man, it just, it feels so good to be back. I mean, for like the longest time, I just- David? How did you get into the studio? What are uh, you doing? I here? gotta go. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, all those things, and uh, I'll see you later. Did you break the picture frame? Bye -bye.